Hi, it's Catherine from In This Pink Designs. How are you today? I hope everyone is good. My project today is this box. I think it's more on the masculine side, um, which I made to fit a pair of Christmas socks. Now this could fit if you if you like this for a woman too, it's pretty. Um, you, or you could do it in a different paper. Some fuzzy socks would fit in there. These are men's socks. My son is into the show Rick and Morty. He loves it. <laughs> it's a little inappropriate, but I don't watch it. <laughs> um, so these fit in there nicely. Um, I have a different pair in here right now. I'm not going to say who for because they watch. Okay, so I, I'm sorry, I used the Brightly Gleaming Designer Series paper. That's a specialty paper. Um, mossy Metal card stock. The sentiment is from Perfectly Plaid stamp set. And this label is from the Snow Time Dies. And I used the gold foil paper for that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so we're going to start with, we need two pieces. We need a piece of mossy metal that is nine and three quarters by eight and a quarter. And a piece of the designer series paper that this is going to sound harder than it is. It's six and 13 sixteenths, which is just one tick over six and three quarters. It's just so that it has a little room so that it doesn't buckle the box. And the shorter side is five and five sixteenths, which is just over five and a quarter. Okay, so you can do it six and three quarters by five and a quarter, but just uh, cut it a little tiny bit longer than that on each side. Okay, all right. So we'll start with the nine and three quarter by eight and a quarter. I'll get my Simply Score. And on the nine and three quarter side, we are going to score at three and three quarters and six inches. Okay, and then we're gonna turn it to the eight and a quarter side and we're going to score at two and a quarter and six inches also. Okay, so that's it for the bottom. Now for the top, Okay, on the one that is, on the side that is six and 13 sixteenths, see a quarter is right here, and I just have it between the seven and three quarters, so it's, it's just a tick mark more. All right, and we're going to score this whole thing, all four sides, at one and a half, okay? So you just go to the four sides and you score it at one and a half all around. Oh, Brady. Okay, we're going to fold and burnish. more gently on the designer series paper okay all right so for the t the bottom part this is what we're looking to do relatively easy we're just going to cut the rectangle straight and wedge a little bit out of the squares okay one on each side one square on each side so I just cut close to the score line straight and then just wedge a little bit out of the square. And that helps me get rid of that bump of the score line. Okay, and then just turn it the other side and do the same thing. Okay. 
Okay, and that's it for that piece. Okay, that's all you have to do. Alrighty, this piece looks a little wiggly. There we go. Okay, and now for the top, and we're just going to do it a little bit different. We're going to go around. So we'll start at the bottom right hand side and we're going to cut the rectangle straight and just wedge a little bit out of the square on the edge. And then we're going to turn it a quarter turn and then keep the rectangle straight and wedge a little bit out of the square. Another quarter turn and do the same thing. And one more quarter turn. Alrighty. Okay, okay. Let's start with the bottom of the box. going to use my seal plus and let's start by putting seal plus on close to the score line and close to the edge of the tabs in the middle okay and it doesn't matter which side unless you have a side that maybe you jumped the score line on or something you can pick either one and we're just going to bring them together. So we're going to take this edge and make it straight against this edge. Okay. All right. Now we're going to put seal on these sides, one at the edge and one in closer. The really important one is the one at the edge. Okay. And then just close the box and seal it off. Make sure it's as straight as you can get it. Okay, and that's our bottom. And then I'll just fold up my socks and put them in there. Okay, put that to the side for now. Now we have our top and we're gonna just put stamp and seal you can use stamp and seal but because there's foil on it i'll use the plus and i'm just going to put it on every corner and i'm going to put it on both two both the next to the fold and at the edge And then you just join it the same way. Just make sure it's a straight line with this corner to this corner. And we did that funky measurement because it'll be a 30 second longer this way and this way on each side so that it will fit more nicely and it'll slide on it won't be too loose but it's not going to be too tight that it buckles the box perfect see it won't fall off but it's not puckering in any of the sides okay and then i took the diagonal stripe mossy metal ribbon and i just tied it around now you could put a bow, just tie a bow and put it on top if you want it to, too. This is the back. This is the front. Just because it wouldn't matter. It's just because of the lid. This has a, a up and down pattern, so they would be upside down on the back. But if it's an all over pattern that doesn't have a clear up or down, it wouldn't matter. It's a little bit harder to tie the bow when it's a one-sided ribbon, not a double-sided ribbon. There we go.
All right. Okay, now the box is done and we're gonna work on the embellishment. I used gold. I have a feeling this might be copper, but it still looks good. Okay, this is from the gold foil paper and the snow time dies. That's the, the set that goes with the Snow Wonder stamp set. It has the dies with it. Well, this there, there's a matching die set, Snow Time dies that goes with it. All right, so I cut that out in the foil paper, and then I cut out from the same set this label, and from perfectly planned stamp set, we're, we're using the North Pole Delivery stamp and Mossy Meadow ink. I'm just going to put it down and just hold it for one second. Give it a couple seconds to transfer and there we go. All right, now I don't want you to get this all messed up with glue. And I didn't really want to pop it up, so I'm going to put some glue dots on there. Just on the back of this. I'll put three on there. I'm just going to place it in the middle of this. <laughs> that's not right. All right, let's see. Okay. All right, and then I put dimensionals on the back. go. Now if you have the uh, stamp set that matches these ornaments, there's a stamp and punch set that go together, it would really look cute if you stamped and punched one of them maybe in Mossy Meadow and attached it with a little string on the top. That would look nice too. But these are my version. I hope you enjoyed it. If you wanted to purchase any of these products, you can shop with me at the address at the top of the screen, which is katherinetiemann.stampinup.net. And I would love it if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the like button if you like this video. Thank you so much. I will see you next time. Bye.